Hi boys and girls, it's that time of the week again for us to do some phonics together. So let's start with our quick recap of our digraphs and trigraphs. Now today, if I hold the digraph up high, I want you to say it in a high voice. And if I put it low, I want you to say it in a low voice. So we would say, oh, or oh, okay, off we go. Good, well done. So today we're not going to learn a new digraph but we're going to have a quick recap on all the digraphs that we have learned so far. So we're going to start by trying to write some words using some of the digraphs that we know or maybe a trigraph. So if you haven't already, go and pop, get us a pencil and a piece of paper and then we'll practice some of our words together, okay? So the first one has got the ow digraph in and it's town, town. Can you write that on your paper? Town. And this is what it looks like. T ow, mm, town. The next one has got the I trigraph in, I, and it's high, high. Can you reach up high? This is what it looks like, high. The next one has got the A digraph in, A, A, and it's pain, P, A, Mm. And this is what it looks like. Pain. Can you think of a sentence that has got that word in? Pain. The next one has got the or digraph in. The or digraph. And it is torch. When it is dark, I use a torch. Torch. There we go. T or ch torch. The next one has got the er uh, digraph in, er, uh, and it is curl, k -earl, curl. There it is. I hope you're remembering to pause the video and not cheat and look before you've had a chance to write it. I'm sure you're not. And the next one has got the qu digraph, the qu sound. Quiz, quiz. There we go. I won the quiz, quiz. The next one has got the oi digraph in. One of our new sounds, oi. And I'd like you to write the word soil, s oil, soil, s oil, soil. And the next one has got the O digraph in. O, O, S, O, P, soap, soap. And the last one has got the S and the K sounds in. And it is thick, th I, K, thick. Can you spell it? Good, well done. Keep practicing writing the different words with lots of with all the different digraphs in. Now we're going to play a little game called sense and nonsense sentences. I've got some sentences on my screen, so I'm just going to move the laptop a little bit closer to the camera so you can see. Now I've got some sentences on here, and we're going to read them together. So you'll be able to use all the digraphs that you know to help you read some of these sentences. And then I'm going to change some of the words and you have to see if the sentence still makes sense. 
Okay, so the first one we've got the man burnt, burnt the toast, toast. The man burnt the toast. Now we know that makes sense. Let's see if the next one makes sense. I've changed the red word there. The girl burnt the toast. Give me a thumbs up if that makes sense. See if you can read this one. This one. The towel burnt the toast. The ow uh, or towel burnt the toast. Does that make sense? I don't think so. Thumbs down for that one. So we've got some other sentences on here with and then different words have been replaced. See if you can read that one. Remember to pause the video so you can have a proper go at reading it. And here's the word I've changed. Changed it again. Does it make sense? Does it not make sense? The dog swam across the pool. The dog swam across the pool. Yeah, makes sense. The next one. Oh, we've got a tricky word in there. Can you tell me what that tricky word is? Some. Gran went to get some fish. fish. Does it make sense? Yay! That one makes sense. This one. There's a new sentence for us to look at. Trisha took a book off the shelf. And I've changed a word in that sentence. Trisha took a book off the spoon. And you decide if that one makes sense. Let's read this one together. Spoon, spoon took a book off the desk. Does that make sense? I don't think so either. And that one. Now there's some sentences here so you can have a little play yourself seeing if you can make maybe some silly sentences and some sense sentences. So you could have the towel burnt the toast or the girl burnt the toast. And then we've got some here. A clock stood on the wooden chest. And then for the adults listening, on the website have put some um, sentence substitutes sentences on there, a little worksheet, so you can cut out the individual words and then your child can actually physically move them to try and make a sentence as they read the words together. And the last one. And I hope you enjoy practicing doing your reading. And I've already told, told your grown-ups that there's a worksheet on the website called Sentence Substitutes and it's a little sheet where you can have fun making lots of different sentences by changing words. So have lots of fun, keep practicing your reading and writing and I will see you next week for some more phonics. Bye for now!